Hi friends, welcome to another tutorial of Easy Video series. This is our LaTeX series going on. And in this tutorial, we are going to explore the options that are provided with the document class option of LaTeX. So as we have seen till now, we begin with a document class article and then we have begin document and end document. Okay. So anything within the curly braces specify the mandatory options in LaTeX. That is, that is to be satisfied compulsorily. And anything within the square bracket are the additional commands or additional parameters. Even if those are not given, the LaTeX will compile perfectly. So now I'm just going to explain what all options we can fill in here. Okay, so we have the first as, I have just prepared the options as the itemized list, nothing more than that. Okay, so you can specify the pages size. So for example, you can specify your A4 size, A5 size, B5 size. So let's say if I specify your A5 size, so my code will be automatically made into a A5 size paper. So you may not get a feel in the output right now, but when you take it a printout on a A5 size kind of a sheet, you will get a feeling of the A5 size paper. Okay, so we also have various paper sizes like B5 paper size. So you can see the text is more aligned now in this B5 paper size. Then we have legal paper, executive paper, etc. Then we have the font sizes. So font sizes, the LaTeX supports 10, 11 and 12. By default, it is 10 point. So let's say I am specifying 12 point. So just observe the change in size. You will feel that the size of the text is increased. Okay, see, this is the 12 point. So the size has increased now. I specify it as 10 point, the size gets reduced. Okay, so we can have one column and two column also. So by default it is one column. So if I specify two column, usually used in IEEE and all. So you see this is, it appears to be one column, but if I have more text, let us copy paste the entire thing once again and recompile it. So you see, it goes into a two column kind of text. Okay, so there are many, many other options. You can combine various other options also, like I can make it a A4 paper size. Okay, I can tweak the commands and there is no ordering between these commands. You can specify them in any order that you wish. Just this was a small tutorial on the various paper sizes, the font sizes, landscape, one column and two column. So, let me try if I can land, I think landscape has a different package. Huh, see, so you can, if you specify landscape, you get a landscape view of the page and not a portrait view. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Good time. Please do subscribe.